So I actually watched this movie a few weeks back and I'm going to be struggling to recall some of the details. So bear with me, I just know it wasn't particularly good. I'm talking of course about Full Metal Alchemist. This was released in December of 2017 in Japan only through Warner Brothers. So this is a live action adaptation of a manga and an anime series which you guys would probably watch because the, the anime series anyways was on Netflix or hell may still very well be and uh, you know you're familiar with it but yeah you know, I'll try to run through the plot here we have these uh, these two Asian boys their mom dies and they live in uh, I think it was 1890s or so yeah something like that and they try to bring her back to life through this alchemy thing. They have like these magical powers and they they like write out this board and they they have different items they have to put in to uh, to do their magic. And they're trying to bring their mom back but it goes horribly wrong. And the youngest of the kids disappears into this void in the sky. Sort of something like that. And so I guess fast forward to sometime later we have the younger, well, the older brother, Ed. He's chasing some guy in like what appears to be Italy, some priest. He's chasing him down, and there's this armored suit helping him out. That's his brother, Al, Alphonse. All right, keep these names in mind here. So they chase this guy down because he has um, Philosopher's Stone. This ring, it's red, has some powers. Chasing him down because they want this. Ed can use it to get his brother's body back. This is his brother's soul is basically put in these, this suit of armor, which was sacrificed by Ed via flashback with some deal with the devil type thing, where he gave up like his arm and his leg so that his brother could, could have his soul back, but it's in this suit of armor. And I didn't watch much of the anime, but I'll tell you this, the most endearing thing I found about the anime was absent from this. And that was Al being this giant metal suit of ar indestructible armor, having a small child voice, and referring to Ed as brother. As silly as that may sound, I thought that really made the series and what limited bit of it I watched, I thought that was the best thing. So here, he has like the adult voice. I don't really feel like he's losing out on his childhood or, you know, I don't really feel sorry for him being so indestructible. You know, what, what's to be concerned about here? Hell, I'd rather be giant metal body. I have a lot more YouTube viewers, wouldn't I? So they're traveling around looking for philosopher stones. This one was a fake. They have different like police, military people arresting them and things like this. And the things of that nature, right? Like Arnold would say. So, uh, it's, it's a little weird because these names and, and location is clearly Europe, right? But they're Japanese actors. You know, you watch the anime and you're thinking these are white kids. So they appeared. It's it's just a little jarring. Like all these, some of these anime look like they're they're white people, and then when they make the stuff, they're like, oh hey, Link from Legend of Zelda is actually Asian. You know, I mean, like things like that, right? Oh, let's get to turning around here. Don't want to bother people. You know, get arrested. <laughs> so um, yeah, they're being questioned by different. Authorities. There's this one real shady looking guy. Uh, it's later revealed that he's going around killing people who are looking for this Philosopher's Stone stuff. Oh, but it was a doppelganger. And there was this crooked doctor who, who, this was stupid. Oh, hey, I'm, I've gotten to the point with my alchemy where I can make chimeras that talk. And it's like, wow, that's cool and not useful. Well, how'd you do that? Well, it's, it's later revealed that he like fused his wife with one and now he put his dog and his daughter with one now he's arrested and shit so yeah that didn't work out too well but Ed and Alphonse 
are going through these different journeys on a train and there's this girl with them periodically who's like some goofy comic relief character. She's acting like she's in an anime whereas too many of the people in this movie are taking things seriously. You know, it's a little off-putting. The effects are hit and miss. It's like they blew all the money at the beginning. And in some ways the uh, CGI effects for the, the Alphonse uh, all metal costume don't look too bad. You know, you might even have a hard time picking up that with CGI if it weren't for some jerky animations at some points. Then you got, uh, the story progresses, they, they find out that there's these prisoners of war who were sacrificed and turned into Philosopher's Stones. At which point I'm like, so how many Philosopher's Stones are there? Because you're referring to it like the Philosopher's Stone. And now you're saying like a bunch of souls can be put together and that makes a Philosopher's Stone. You need one of these to give Al his body back. And by the end of the movie, there's, they're all over the place. They're, they're all over this prisoner of war camp. Oh, but this general who was so friendly to Ed early in the movie, he's revealed to be the bad guy. He has all these philosopher's stones and these drone zombie bodies. He's going to put them together, build this army of the dead. How effective are they? they this army takes one victim. The general. Everybody else just shoots them easily. There you go. It, it's... It doesn't make a ton of sense. It's not particularly entertaining. It's two hours long. I mean... It, you get to the end, they're just like casting magic at people left, right, and center. Then you have your little teaser at the end that seems to suggest there's going to be more movies. Oh, hey, one of them kind of sort of got away if you know what something happened in the anime or the TV series, what this little creature slithered out of was all about. And it's, I, mean, I, I just kind of felt underwhelmed and kind of so what? You know, where, what about all these other stones? can't make use to him get, get Alphonse's body like you wanted I don't see what's stopping him anyways yeah uh, you know what there are even some shots of this where it looked very youtuber <laughs> some shots early on where it's like oh digital f uh, filmmaking here uh, I give Full Metal Alchemist 2017 two out of four stars